Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 3 and 4. Um, yeah, I've actually really got really into this show. Um, like, Season 5, Episode 7. Like, I'm really... I've like, three more seasons left. Yeah, uh, well, including Season 5. Well, not including Season 5. So, I'm nearly finished. Uh, it's a big accomplish. Uh, for me, nearly finished this. Then we go into the, well, not can really say the TV show, but um, because his, no, I can't say because it, it kind of just gives it away. Anyway, let's get into this review for Brooklyn Nine Nine. Brooklyn Nine Nine uh, has twenty three episodes, premiered on September twenty seventh, two thousand fifteen, and uh, final final date was April nineteenth, two thousand sixteen. So it went for that long, which is good. Um, so the main cast, we've got Andy Samberg as Jake Peralta, Stephanie Brutez as Rosa Diaz, Terry Crews as Terry Jeffords, Melissa Fumero as Amy Santiago, Joe, uh, Lowe Tra uh, Truglo as Charles Boyle, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea Protetti as Gina Lanetti, Andre Bort as Captain Ray Holt, Dick Blocker as Michael Hitchcock, and John Mc uh, McKinnon Miller as Norm Scully. Um, I mean, we've got... And then guest cameos, we got Bill Hader as Dozerman. Well, that was his character, so he was like the new character. The new, um, not the new character, the new A captain. And then you got also uh, Catherine Hahn as Eleanor Hostwell, the hostage situation. I think that was the episode. Also, that was the episode. Uh, Damien Waynes Jr. Did a is that a well-known person? Yeah, Damien Wayne Street, yes it is, from like, New Girl. Um, he, he, sorry. Uh, he was Stevie Shillings from the 9-8. So that was the episode's title. Uh, Bradley Whitefoot as Roger Peralta. Um, and then, yeah, so production. It has been confirmed that Andre Brota and Chelsea... Rotetti will, uh, will continue to appear as a series regulars, despite the character's exit from the Night Nine at the end of Season 2. Return to the position in se uh, Episode 4. Sorry about that. Then, uh, at the time of the Season 2 finale broadcast, no, there has been cast in the new role as the new captain. Uh, the second episode of the Season 2, sorry, the second episode, uh, sorry, on July 30th, 2015, sorry, had has been announced that Archie Pachavi has uh, being cast as Lieutenant Sai in the second episode of uh, the season due to air on October 4th, 2015. On August 6th, 2015, it was revealed that Bill Hader has been cast as Seth Dozeman, the new captain of the 99th Precinct. On October 14th, 2015, it was revealed that Nick Offerman has been cast as, as Frederick, an ex-boyfriend of Ray Holt. Then November 10th, 2015, it was announced that after the holidays, the show would Moved to Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Same time, but half half an hour later than uh, when the majority of season one episodes aired. On November 16th, 2015, Melissa Fumero announced that she was pregnant with her first child. Uh, her pregnancy will not be written. Will not be written on the show. Kind of did, but whatever. Um. So let me just find this. Now, let's get on to my thoughts for this uh, season. This season overall, it was a really, really entertaining season. Um, if I look at it, okay. Uh, season 3, it was, it was decent uh, for me. Not my favourite out of the uh, TV show. It was a good season. I did enjoy uh, season 3. Um, but yeah, for my score for season 3, I'm going to be giving it a 9 out of 10. Uh, oh, and I'm supposed to say my stars, so stars will probably be a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'm going to give it a 90%. Grade, I'm going to be giving it. What's a good grade? Um, an A. An A. An out of 10, an out of 10 I'm going to be giving it a 9 out of 10. So, yes, hope you enjoyed this. Um, oh, no, I'm not done. I need to do season 4. Sorry about that. And now, season 4. Season 4. Has only 22 episodes. Uh, 
and ran from September 30th, or 20th, sorry, 2016 uh, into May 23rd, 2017. And the main cast is Andy Samberg, it's Jake Peralta, Stephanie Brutes as Rosa Diaz, Terry Cruz as Terry Jeffords, Rosa Fumero as Andy Santiago, and Joe Leutro as uh, Charles Boyle, Chelsea Brutetti as Gina Lanetti, Andre Brooks as Captain Ray Holt, Dirk Blocker as Michael Hall Hitchcock, and John McKinnon Miller as Norm Scully. And I've got um, Maya Rudolph as, like, so there's, like, special cameos. We've got Maya Rudolph as US Marshal Karen Hess from Carl Palms Part 1 and 2. And uh, we've got Jason Manazukis as Adrian Pimento from Monsters in the Closet, Mr. Santiago, and the bank job. Um, we've got Kyle Bornheimer as Teddy Wells from The Adopt. I, I can't really say that much. Uh, Nathan Fillion as Mark Deviux from Surf and Protect. Um, and more. So production. The table read for the first episode occurred on July 30th, 2016. July 26th, 2016, it was reported that Maya Rudolph would be appearing in the story's arc Beginning in, the, uh, beginning in the premiere episode, playing the U.S. Marshal. On August 25th, 2016, it was reported that Ken Mar uh, Marino has been cast as CJ, uh, the new 99's new captain, replacing Holt, uh, who was replaced by the Witness Protection Program at the end of Season 3. On August 8th, 2016, it was reported that there will be a crossover episode featuring the cast of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and New Girl, Airing out in October, on August seventeenth, twenty sixteen, I was reported that Andy Stam Andy Sandberg's Lonely Island Lonely Island colleague Jomo uh, Jomit Cohen has been cast as Taylor and Captain Holt's boss as at Frank's Fun Zone, in Florida. At Cohen's previously directed Thanksgiving and season one. On August nineteenth, twenty sixteen and sixteen, it was reported that Raina Perelman has been cast as Estella, the leader of the local power walking group in the premiere episode. Then on November 29th, 2016, it was reported that the uh, Marshall Lynch would be guest cast as himself for the uh, for the full final The Fugitive 1 and 2, part 1 and 2. Then on 15th, 26th, 15th of December, 2015th, weeks after the photo of Sandberg and Craig Robinson, uh, Surfaced, it was confirmed that Duck Judy would make an annual appearance in The Fugitive Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, this is the only season till date in which Robinson will appear in one more than uh, more than one episode. Um, so let's, let's get into my thoughts uh, for this uh, season. Second season? Sure. Um, it was a... It was a bit better than uh, season three. That's what I have to say. I really did enjoy season four. All of these are a great show, except for season two, which got an eight point five out of ten. Still good though. Um, season four, I didn't still enjoy my time watching this. It was a good time. I I didn't hate it at all. It was a good time. Uh, I yeah, I really enjoyed. I love the cast for casting for the show, and it's just great it's such an entertaining show and just a great time to watch and i really enjoyed uh, this season but for overall my score for season sorry my my ratings for brooklyn 99 season four i'm going to be giving it a uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars percentage i'm going to be giving it a 91 percent grade i'm going to be giving it an a and out of 10 i'm going to be giving it a 9.1 out of 10 Thank you for watching my review for Book of Nine Nine Season 3 and 4. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.